guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am very excited, nervous and a bit anxious because I am going to be traveling from Mexico to the US to visit my family and like I said I'm very excited to see them and to be traveling after being around five months in quarantine so I'm very excited about that. But of course I'm a little nervous and anxious about traveling with COVID um, but also because it's the very first time that I'm going to be traveling all by myself. I've traveled many times with my mom, with friends, but never on my own. And I have to say that I am a bit scary, uh, a bit scared about that. Um, but I'm going to be documenting all the experience of traveling with COVID, traveling all by myself. So keep on watching and let's get started with this awesome adventure that it's exciting and terrifying at the same time. <laughs> so let's get started. Hello, so we just got to the bus station and this little cutie is very excited and sad, I hope. And so am I. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I don't know if it's COVID or at the hour, but it's kind of empty here. Some people over there. Sure, you can see the meat. See if I can switch. No, I can. Okay, I'll show you <laughs> in a bit. And as I wait, salad, checking my email, WhatsApp. But see, there is people, and now people is not coming through. Okay. <laughs> I just got to the waiting room and as you can see there's like a middle seat empty situation but check this out there is actually a lot of people I really thought it was gonna be like dead and here I am just waiting Most apologies for this face. It's been a long day today. Um, so well, I wanted to um, chat because my blogging skills are not very well developed just yet. So I wanted to talk to you about how all the experience actually went down. Um, I have to say that I'm actually very, very disappointed into the 
safety protocols in both airports in Mexico and here in the United States. Um, in Mexico, they asked me to field um, like a questionnaire online um, where I was asked things like if I've traveled in the past 14 days, if um, if I've presented any of the symptoms of COVID, if I was exposed to COVID and things like that, but they never check you. I think they only checked me once the temperature um, before passing security. Um, but when you enter the airport, like nobody even tells you whether or not you can enter the airport or not. So if we're just, if you just wanna go and chill at the airport, you could just for fun um, and then I mean within the airport and within the plane I mean I travel to the US so the um, airplane company was Delta so it's an American company um, and they have the policy of the middle road and middle road empty so um, you don't have like a traveler next to you um, so that is actually great. But one thing that happened is that from Puebla to Mexico City, the bus was full. Um, thank goodness the seat next to me was empty, but pretty much the entire um, bus was was full. So, I mean, what are the protocols there and the safety protocols there? I didn't see them. Um, you are supposed to wear the mask all the time, but you can eat inside of the um, bus as well as inside of the airplane. So you take the, the mask off when you're eating, when you're drinking. So, I mean, I'm still kind of trying to figure out if it's worth um, the mask. I mean, it's worth it, but in this small moments when you take it out to eat or drink, like, what happens there? So, I really don't know. I don't know. Um, and when I arrived in the US, I had a little bit of an issue but that had nothing to do with, um, with COVID, um, but they, they never checked if I had like high temperature or if I had like any weird thing and you know I would think that because I am going to be staying in the United States for a few uh, months they would at least make sure that the people getting in the country are safe and are healthy but nothing like zero thingies happening there. Um, they of course ask you to keep the distance, the six feet distance and the mask um, situation, but other than that they don't even check your temperature let, um, and let alone do like a quick blood test if you had COVID. So I mean I was very disappointed with the protocols and with the safety procedures that um, Mexico and the US are taking but I mean that's just the experience um, I actually thought that I was going to see the airport like kind of like super empty and like kind of um, in this apocalyptic vibe but the airport was so full maybe a little less than typical but it was like not a ginormous difference a few um, stores were closed but just a couple of them like not the entire airport was dead close um so i mean i don't know maybe because i am traveling at this point where a lot of things are reopening and the economy has you know like been activated a long time ago but still i was very surprised because mexico and the u.s have like big um numbers on the statistic charts so i mean i don't i really don't know what's what's the deal but um that was my experience 
Um, traveling solo, I thought it was going to be harder. It wasn't that much harder. Um, I felt a little awkward about traveling on my own. Um, you know, I have to be carrying all the suitcases with me the entire time. And even though I said that I wasn't going to overpack, I think I overdid it a little bit. <laughs> so that also influenced me not being able to vlog at the airport that much because I had to carry my bag and carry my suitcase and then sometimes carrying both suitcase. So yeah, it was, it was a thing and I had my, um, like this thing, this is like my sanitizer thing. So I would be spraying every single surface and with all the things that I was carrying around, it was even harder to block and have camera in one hand and sanitizing and carrying um, my suitcases on the other one was totally impossible but um but yeah on a nutshell it was a good experience by traveling on my own um but related to COVID I am kind of disappointed and um and yeah Traveling looks normal-ish just because you have to wear the mask. Um, but other than that, it really felt a typical trip that you normally do before COVID. So, I mean, I don't know. Probably in a couple of months, it's just going to be way more normal than what it is today. Um, maybe in next year masks are going to be just removed and we're going to be laughing at the mask situation because seriously wearing the mask the entire day it's super annoying you can barely breathe <laughs> and um you want to talk and you I, I can hear very well when people have like masks on so that was yet another problem understanding people and i don't mean understanding people speaking english because i mean i understand it very well but even in spanish i would have like a hard time trying to understand them because of the mask but well that's it i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna go to sleep because i am seriously super tired i don't know if you guys can tell i put a little bit of makeup right now just to film this cute chat with you but I'm dead. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment me down below if you've traveled um, already or if you're planning to do a trip um, soon and if you want me to share more tips and tricks into how I did it and how traveling looks like, um, make sure to leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I seriously do not know what you're waiting for. Subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Oh, and by the way, big news, my blog is up and is live. So more info, it's going to be right over there. I will leave the link down below for that blog post so that you can check it out and read more info into this new normal traveling situation so thank you guys for stopping by i'll see you next week bye